So I just woke up from a nap on day two. It's hella crazy in there compared to yesterday. So I had to run and hide. But even in the morning today, we walked in there and it was busier than at peak times yesterday. And I just talked to other people, they're saying that it's like, you can't stand in there. You just have to like, you can't walk in there. So you're just standing there and fucking packed in there. So it's gonna be fun. It's probably gonna take us like an hour to get to the booth, but I'm already 20 minutes late. So I'll be an hour and 20 minutes late. It is what it is. But, you know, doing what we gotta do, meet some more people. No one's brought me snacks yet either. So, people watching this again, I'm disappointed in my fans. No snacks have come, and I have gone hungry once again. Their secret entryway. I'm hot, but I'm too skinny to take off my jacket, so I don't have an MHP shirt on either, so they're gonna get mad at me. So that won't be a like a tip for like shoulders and legs. So, at the expo right now, I'm with Will and Jill, the rhyming couple, and he wants to tell you something about the boat. So, we came all the way from New York just to see Sea Bum at booth 225, and I named my boat after the Sea Bum. He rides the Hudson, you can see it all the time. <laughs> named the boat after me. Right? So, it's technically my boat, so if I, if I want to take it, I'm going to take it. It's crazy. Can you hear me? Can the mic hear me? Hello? It's fucking nuts compared to last year. We were at a booth, like twice the size in the middle of the arena. And like, honestly, MHP was forcing people for me to take pictures with me. They're like, we'll give you a free shirt and take a picture with us. Because no one had any idea who I was. And then this year, I'm fucking, I'm walking around and I actually have like a line of people coming out to meet me. So it's pretty crazy to be honest. It's a crazy feeling a year later, you know, it's literally been 365 days and everything's just changed completely. So you guys and so many amazing fans are all coming to see me. You're all, you're all saying keep up the YouTube, so that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm just gonna, I mean, hopefully next year it's even better. So keep doing it. I am lost and I don't know where to go no more. I've been hurt, but I've never been hurt this much before. I feel lonely, 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 traveling down this road. They say through time I find some healing, but the clock goes slow. I didn't know that I could get this low.
Ford here came fifth last night at the Arnold Expo, competed against me in Toronto. Yep. There was the one guy who had me scared at that show. So <laughs> I was excited to help him keep going last year, but he's finally back into it. So yeah. keep an eye out for him in the pro circuit. He's gonna kill it. The guy comes absolutely shredded every year, and I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do. Alright. Yeah. So it is 5 p.m. We're supposed to leave at 4. I don't, it's weird, I don't even have a long line, ever. I'm not cool enough for a line yet. But there's enough people that there's four people standing there. And by the time like two leave, two more show up. So it's just like a never ending short line, you know? So it took me an hour to get out of there. And here we are again, leaving late. But today I gotta get to the gym. I skipped it on it yesterday, but we gotta go work out now. It's gonna be hella busy at that gym, even busier than here, so. Hopefully people will respect that I need to work out and I can put my head down and just go. I lost my shoe. I don't know how far back I lost. Jed North, you owe me another shirt. See, what's up, man? Is it hit my ass? You going for a nap or what? Hell yeah. I have to. Alright. Okay, we'll see you soon. What do I think? I think it's 7 p.m. <laughs> what did you look at I said, what are you, what are we doing? What do I think? <laughs> we're, uh, we're going to the gym. Because we're not going to Powerhouse Gym, I'm sorry. Well, to maybe everyone. Tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. But, uh, Powerhouse Gym is too crazy. We saw snaps. Well, she talked me out of it, but we saw videos of people in there and you literally, like, they can't walk. There was, like, crowds of people videotaping, like, one person working out. Like, Jay Cutler was there and he was just giving a speech. And people were standing on machines videotaping him. So, I need at least one workout this weekend. So we're going to some gym called Beyond Limits. I'm hoping my Ian, Ian, my Ian. My Ian. My dear Ian. <laughs> Ian. My dearest Ian. <laughs> no, my sister and my brother-in-law Ian are going to be going too, so... I don't think we're training the same thing or anything, but hopefully we'll all meet up there, get a workout in, and actually have a proper workout. No. It's the fucking CrossFit gym. Uh, yep. Yeah. There's more machines upstairs, and restrooms in each area. Upstairs, there are two more restrooms upstairs here. CrossFit, yeah! All the way upstairs to the I think so. Okay, so we're doing cardio stairs before the workout. Yes. Awesome. We're doing cardio yeah. stairs before our CrossFit workout. And then a photo shoot. This is like anarchy. We're just running the stairs. How'd it go? Uh, I got four. That's good. Yeah. That's awesome. So, I think that's the best I could have done. Really? Yeah, so. Okay, I don't want to start upstairs. Where are you starting? I don't want to go up. You want to go up? Well, there's no one up there. Let's go upstairs. Are you? I don't know. You tell me. Okay, like 30 minutes later, starting to work out. Someone's on my lap pull down that I always, everyone knows I start my back workout with lap pull down, so today we're throwing it all out the window and we're starting with chest supported.
machine I never used to do, but those with tight lower backs, especially when I'm traveling like this, is a godsend. It's like a straight row, no, no lower back pull, no nothing, just straight from the back. Helps you really drive the doubles back. I feel like if I lived, lived in Columbus this week and didn't give a shit about the Arnold Expo, I'd be very upset that all the gyms are just packed and everything just a hellhole of just a bunch of stupid people with their video cameras everywhere annoying everyone. I'm dying on this. This guy's like, uh, that wasn't that heavy. That wasn't heavy. He can take it. Don't listen to him, man. Oh, you mean it's him taking the weight off? Workouts the lack of energy, where I build up to one heavy set, maybe two, work up to it and kill myself on two sets, and then next exercise. So, trying to be convenient with my energy, use what little I have to get shit done. What's doing with dumbbells? I'm the third biggest guy here. I was doing good. I started small. Doing fucking really showing up. He's small. Well, I'm so small. He's small. I'm aesthetic, bro. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> We're going outside. Are you coming? Oh, yeah. Close, man. Apparently, we have to go outside to get to the half of the gym. Yeah. So, we're hunting. I can't say I've ever seen a gym where you need to leave the gym to find the other part of the gym. Go outside and lose my sweat. Look at this girl's swag pants right here. The one and only Mel B. What? I haven't met my sister yet. This is the lovely one of us. Hi, you too. <laughs> what are you training?
I'm probably only only gonna have one set this workout where I'm fired up just to kill some heavy, so I'm taking advantage of it right now. connected I don't get it they probably just added that on recently why just just randomly added weights oh they don't want you in anymore <laughs> hey. 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 is this a joke now we're locked out of the gym buddy come on there we go oh there we go <laughs> gyms where five plates will be different sizes but they'll all say 45. I do not trust this shit. It's dangerous. This is a 45. That's a 45. Send me snacks. In this sketchy ass kitchen trying to get some water. It's so hot in here. Pass out. Looks clean to me. BCAs. BCAs. Zero calories. Negative calorie BCAs. That's Bay right there. That's my Ian. Whenever I'm talking about you guys, I'm always trying to say my sister and Ian. And I'm always like, my Ian and Melissa. My Ian. <laughs> Every time. My Melissa and my Ian. <laughs> <laughs> They're mine. <laughs> it's like, my Ian. <laughs> so this is my favorite way to finish a back day when I'm dead. I just jump off the ground, pull myself up, and then slowly do a negative pull down. So I literally just put my feet down, jump, and then come slowly down. Because I can't do a real pull up right now, I'm too tired. And we are done with that workout. What's up guys, so it's our second day here at the Arnold, Saturday night, just got back from the gym, trained back at Beyond Limits, I think the gym's called. It's a pretty cool gym, like brick warehouse kind of thing, but every room was like scattered, we had to go outside to find the other half of the gym, and it was hot and sweaty in there, so it was kind of stressful, but they did have my favorite back machine in there where I kind of like lower the seat and I stand on the ground and I just stretch like crazy like this and pull. So I actually had a decent workout, especially because I didn't really train, I didn't train at all yesterday. So it was a pretty good back day at that, so I hope you guys enjoy that video. Today is the final film day for the Arnold. I've got a little bit of expo work and booth work tomorrow, but boy Calvin's leaving, so 
no film for that. But uh, yeah, so I guess recap of the Arnold is this. My overall experience with Arnold is just, it's shock, I guess, because this is the first, like I've kind of mentioned it before, but this is the first expo event I've been to where like, I'm kind of like, everyone knows me, you know, I can barely walk through the crowd without being stopped. So it's, it's a, it's an interesting experience for sure. It's kind of crazy to think like, I'm, I want to go walk around the expo and like, I still think like, I'm just, you know, I'm just a little Chris, but people are actually like stopping me, asking for pictures and it's like hard to get places. I know I can, uh, at the gym, try to work out and people are stopping you mid-set to take a pic, but it's a cool experience for sure. It's crazy compared to last year where I was just a nobody, so it's definitely a lot has changed and hopefully it's just going to keep getting better and better. So seeing the lineup at the Arnold Classic, considering it's the second biggest show of the year, nothing really surprised me and not to sound cocky, but nothing really scared me either, you know? Breon came in looking... I think a little bit off compared to the Olympia. Physique looking the same, but not, it wasn't quite as dry, especially from the front. When he turns around, it's still game over, but he didn't look like he did at the Olympia. It wasn't quite as dry and hard. Arash looked a lot better, so he got his second place there, but, you know, I just, I think I, me taking this year off, I'm um, second to Brion, who's the only guy I really have to worry about, and me taking this time off, I think I can really bring up what I need to to take the number one spot next year, so, you know, no jinx in it, no nothing, but, you know, I'm kind of, I'm thinking a little more high this year and I'm going to work for it. I'm going to crush that Olympia next year for sure. Mm, I guess that's it. So goodbye to everyone. I hope you like these films. If you like my boy Calvin's editing and all that, check him out. It's uh, CSR Productions and Kelvin Nudie Tham on Insta. So I will tag him in the bio and everything and I hope you, you totally like this. You butchered my name so hard. It's not Tham. <laughs> Yudi Tam. Yudi Tom. Yudi Tom. There, Kelvin Yudi Tom. Check him out. <laughs>